Fish and Wildlife Service logo. View of a river from a boat. Travel with salmon up the Queethlook River. As they pass through a weir on their way upstream, the boat arrives at the weir. Welcome to the Queethlook Weir. My name is Travis Hedrick. I'm a biological science technician, and we are currently at the Queethlook Weir on the Queethlook River. We're out here monitoring salmon species as they swim back upstream to their natal spawning grounds. Um, the reason we are doing that is to monitor the species uh, from a resource standpoint, but also ensure the survival of the species for future generations. What is a weir? Fisheries biologist Aaron Moses explains. It's just a, it's just a big fence that, with one opening where all fish have to go through. A row of buoys across the river. How does it work? Travis stands in the river. So I am currently in the live trap behind the Queethluck Weir. So as the fish find their way across the weir, they have one single chute that they, they, they can pass up. They come in right through here in this funnel system. It allows the fish to come into the trap. From here, we've built, we've uh, put boards around the outside that kind of help reduce the flow so the fish can mill in here before they actually find the exit and exit the trap through the video system. Underwater footage of salmon swimming through the weir. All fish can pass through the weir and biologists can collect information without stopping them. When can fish swim through? The trap itself is actually only closed for maybe four to five hours a day. But it's only closed when we actually sample, and that sampling time happens right around five to nine o'clock p.m. Um, the rest of the time, the trap is actually open, which means the weir is open to fish to passing through. Biologists sample for the age, length, and sex of the fish then release them above the weir. Sampling can give us clues about the run quality and help us manage for the health of fish. How do you count the fish? We are at the back of the weir now, so the fish have passed through the weir, they will pass through the trap, and then the final thing they pass through is our video box here. Um, we have a housing unit housing our actual camera. The camera is facing towards me, and what the camera sees is this grid here, which the, which the fish pass in front of. And we were actually able to get an accurate measurement off of each fish that passes through the weir, even when we're not sampling. The video allows staff to count and measure fish as they pass freely. Why are weirs important? Mary Peltola, director of the Cuscoquim River Intertribal Fish Commission. Weirs are new to our culture on the Cuscoquim, uh, but they've been around for many decades and they've been a part of fish management for many years and they've been a really good tool again for indexing the strength of the run um, and, the, and the strength of the escapement. Aaron Weber, fisheries biologist. Each year we get the end of year escape which is how many fish pass the weir. That number we report to the managers and they use that information for the next season's forecast. James Charles, Cuscoquim River Intertribal Fish Commission. Counting is better when you I like what I saw at the weir. Weirs help us understand the health of a salmon run and balance between harvest opportunity and conservation for the future. That's my focus, is making sure that my descendants have the same opportunity at the same abundant species that I have and just making sure that we protect it for them. Video of a young girl riding in a boat. Fish and Wildlife Service logo. Video, Lisa Hupp, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Music, Josh Woodward, Creative Commons.